with the students, excuse me, with the students, we will be going to, I mean, sorry, excuse me, we'll be treating chapter four. And in the chapter four, this are what uh, we'll be talking about. First, we'll be talking about using the insertion points to add text. Second, second, how to select text, how to delete text, <coughs> excuse me, how to copy and move text, how to cut and paste text, how to drag and drop text, how to find and replace, then lastly, to to replace text and of course as usual our challenge right away let's um, move on to check what is in our book yes this is chapter four first thing we've said we'll be doing is using the insertion point to hard text the insertion point is a blinking vertical line on your document. The blinking vertical line on your document. So that is your what? Your insertion point. <coughs> you know, say it indicates where you can enter text on the page. You can use the insertion point in various ways in blank document, in the last space can see where it is you have this in your book this is the ribbon and uh, here's where you have the insertion point this is, is where you have the mouse to be blinking on your blank document as you can see here this I'm gonna make it bigger so that you can see it. Excuse me, this is where you have the insertion point. That's what we are trying to I'm trying to talk about. And uh, let's move further. After typing you have the insertion point also blinking at the back. For example, you've done your typing. can see the insertion point blinking at the back here. That's your insertion point. Trying to tell you and that's where text will be given from. <coughs> then when you press the enter key it takes you to the next line. Manual placement. After you started typing you can use the mouse to move insertion point to a specific place in your document. Simply click the location in the text where you want to place it. There are several ways which you can use, you can place an insertion point. And the first, the last one of them is manual placement. You have also a new paragraph, that is to begin a new paragraph. And also you have it to be what? Adding space. These are the ones you can use on your insertion point. You can see after typing, you manually place it. For example, you've done your typing here, and manually place it here, or oh here. That's manual placement of the insertion point. <coughs> Excuse me. Then, okay. To select text now, before applying formatting to text, before applying formatting to text, you first need to do what? To select it. For example, you want to format any particular word. The first thing you need to do is to what? To select it. And these are the pros. Your first press insertion point next to the text you want to select. Two, click the mouse. And while holding it down, drag your mouse over the text to select it. 
release the mouse you have selected the text the island box will appear over the text this is what we're trying to try what is what i'm trying to say i want to select i want to format this global what do i do i press down the mouse you can see the instruction is not moving anymore it's waiting for command i drag it over the text i want to format and immediately i'm done a dialog box appears and it tells me what do i want to do with, with what i have uh, selected you can see when you have selected the text or the image a over two bar a over two bar with command shortcut appear if the two bar does not appear at first try and move the mouse over the selection as you see if it doesn't even appear and this is what we have see we've selected all this and this over to bar appear other shortcuts include double clicking and so on they are there <coughs> you can also select all the text in document by pressing what control a control plus a on your keyboard that is if you want to select all the text just type this <coughs> it is selected can see over here if we've selected this let's say it's press i want to select to format i've selected this and this over two box appear let's say i want to bold it i can bold it i can change the font color to red you can see once i'm done I click out i've been able to format this test the first step is what click and hold your mouse over the word you want to select i mean you want to format i can italy this bold this and change the color to, to blue you can see that is how to go about that now to delete there are several ways to delete or remove text there are several ways to delete text to the left of the insertion, press the backspace. To delete text to the right of the insertion, press delete on the keyboard. To select text you want to remove, then press, press the delete key. If you select text, start typing. To select text will automatically be deleting the replace with the new text. Now, if it's what I've said to delete to the back use the backspace you might not be able to see my keyboard okay I think I can bring up a keyboard keyboard so we can yes the screen keyboard <coughs> yeah you can see uh, what I'm trying to, to, to describe Where's my on screen keep mm. keyboard? Uh, on screen keyboard. All right. Is up. As you can see the on screen keyboard. I'm deleting to the back. I'm going to be pressing the back space see it's deleting to the back if i'm deleting to the front i'm going to press my delete you can see so you can use the backspace for example if i should use delete here, it's not going to delete anything so there's nothing at the front for you to delete but let's assume that my insertion point is here I want to delete this is when I can use this delete. You can see it's deleting. Alright, that's what we've been trying. I'm trying to talk about in in the delete. Let's move on. Copying and moving text. What allows you to copy text that is already in your document and paste it to the area of the document? 
which can save you time. If there's text you want to move from one area to the other area, you can cut and paste or drag and drop it. Now to copy and paste. Copy text, create a duplicate of the text. That is copy. Let me make a, a particular copy. One, you select the text you want to copy. <coughs> then you click the copy command on the home tab. You can also right click the text and select copy. Place the section where you want to click to appear. Click paste command on the home tab. The text will appear. This is what we are trying to talk about. Let's say for instance Let's say for instance, you want to copy this, you first of all copy, this appears, you can right click, no, no sorry, you, you click copy in the home tab, click copy and take your cursor your insertion point to where you want to paste it you can see paste here click paste so when you do this is that you are making a duplicate of your of your word or your sentences that you want to copy that's what we're trying to talk all this for or you right click on the insertion point after clicking copy you can click paste that's what we're trying to talk about. And this is how it is. The text will appear. Then to cut and paste text. This is cut. This it will no longer be there. Select the text you want to cut. Click on command on the home tab. You can also right click the text and click cut. You place the instruction point where you want the text to appear. Click paste command on the home tab and it will appear. <coughs> then there are shortcuts which you can also do as Ctrl X, Ctrl C, Ctrl X to copy, I mean to cut, Ctrl C to copy, and Ctrl V to paste. So we are going to see that you can see control X is to cut, control C is to copy, control and V is to what is to paste the web. So let's quickly do a small demonstration on that. Let me do some more typing. So now I want to cut this. I want to cut this and place it up here. What do I do? Uh, first of all, I light and click on my control. X can see it's gone. I place it to where I want. I'll place my cursor, my insertion point at where I want it to appear and click Ctrl V. You can see that is how to cut and paste. What about copy? I will highlight what I want to copy. I want to copy all this and place it at the back here. Click my control C. I click on my insertion point where I want to paste this. Press control V. You can see the difference. It make a copy, a duplicate of uh, what I want to do. So that's 
everything we've been trying to be trying to talk about. Now let's move fast. You remember this as when you right click after copying you will now want to paste it gives you all this uh, icon <coughs> how about to drag and drop drag and drop text allow you to use mouse to move text select the text you want to move click and drag the text to the location where you want it to appear the cursor we will have a rectangle this under it to indicate that you are moving the text. Release the mouse and the text report will appear. When the text will not appear in the exact location, you can press enter key on your keyboard to move the text to the new line. This is what we are trying to say. I'm trying to move is a click. You can see the rectangular let me let me enlarge this so that you can see it better enough for you to see you can see the rectangle now i'm moving these two words i overlight it and click and drag my mouse you can see the rectangular sign under the mouse yes that is trying to say I'm moving the text and it's indicating to me that it's going to be dropped here. If I release, they will move down there. That is how to move the text. I want to move this word global. I alight, I drag, and the rectangular is showing under the cursor and I release my mouth. It moves. So that is how to support and move. How about find and replace? When you are working with a larger document, it can be difficult time consuming to locate a specific word or phrase. Work can automatically search your word using the find features. It allows you to quickly change words or phrases using replace. To find text now, in our example, we've written an academic paper. And we use the final command to locate all reference to a particular author's last name. This is what I have inside this uh, our book. And I'm going to do a small demonstration how to find it. Second, you go to the navigation pane, we appear on the left side of the screen. Type what you want to find. Type what you want to find. And uh, it gives you a navigation pane. If the text is found in the text, it will alight in yellow and preview the results. We are in the navigation pane. And this is what I'm trying to talk about. Yeah, we have enough space. Yeah, we have, we are in the old tab. I want to find let's assume you have plenty of this lots maybe like 40 pages 50 pages and you are looking for a particular one you're going through it one after the other it's not that easy just click on find find and the pin we apply we appear here and let's say you are looking for the word company can see I like it automatically in yellow everywhere it is and it tells me it's only two I can see and it, it find it here and also finds it here you can see if this is where I want to go maybe this is on page 100 I clicked on it it takes me down there automatically but maybe this one I want to go to it gives me the word with the phrase can see it takes me to where it is at the moment. It could be 1000 pages, 2000 pages, in seconds it takes you down there to locate the, the word. Then also, you can see uh, it's this when you are finished, click the X to navigate, the light will disappear. 
can see the way it's moving it's, you can see it's showing result 3 of 10 so it means it has seen 10 find 10 paragraphs where this word is being used so that's how to find so you can also access the find comment by control f on your keyboard this is what uh, we are trying to see your keyboard you have control plus f you can see the plane automatic comes up that's how to use it on your on your keyboard now this is also how to find maybe to find more other things to replace the text now how do you replace the text that you found at times you may discover that you made a mistake repeatedly throughout your document such as misspelling a person's name or that you need to change a particular word or phrase for another you can use words find and replace feature to quickly make revisions in our example, we'll find a replace to change the title of a magazine that is this abbreviated. Home tab, replace command. Replace, you can see replace, this is fine, this is replace. The find and replace of will reappear. Type the text you want to find in the field, in the find word field. Type the text you want to replace it in the replace field. Then click find next. Just as you have it here. This is what I'm trying to say. Let's assume at the back here I type at T A D E. See, that's an error. An error here again. Let's assume I uh, wanted to type Adelani because I erroneously typed Adelani. So, and I want to replace it. And it's using, let's say, 50 pages of work. I can't just be looking for Adelani line by line. It will be so difficult. So, what I'll do is replace. I click on replace. Now, it's telling me find what find what you make sure you are in find find what what am i looking for so what i'm looking for is at learning then to replace it with what at the learning once i'm done i click find next I click finance. Let's read the paragraph. And see, find what this. Excuse me. You click find and replace dialog. Type the text you want to find. You want to find in the find what field. Type the text you want to replace it with the replace with field and click find next. Find that's the word you want to find. This is what you want to replace. And then you want to replace with here. Then the word will find the word instantly of the text and highlight it in grey. Review the text to make sure you want to replace it in the final example. The text is part of the title. We'll click find next again. And see, this is how it looks like. Let's practicalize it in more detail. We're going to replace the find word field. This is uh, you are looking for add learning. To replace Atlani with what? 
Adi Lani. So you click on finest. Yeah, if you look at it, it will show it in grey. As you can see, it's in grey. You want to replace it with this. Once you are done with, and you have to make sure it's what you want to do. You now say, if it is only one you want to replace, you click replace. But if you want to replace all, you click on replace all. Just watch. You can see what happens. You say, all done. We made two replacements. Okay. You see, remember, what we have here was at learning, same year. Well, after clicking on replace, it says it's done to replacement. So once you are done, just click OK. So it has changed from add learning to what to add learning. So once you are done, you click close. That is how to use the find and replace feature. Yeah. Uh, you can see what uh, writing of what uh, illustrated in our in our book now challenge now so you should open an existing word 2013 select some text to delete if you are using the example delete the first sentence or the second graph second paragraph copy and paste some text we are using the example, copy the last name Charles. And number four, cut and paste. Five, select to drag. Find, replace. Find and uh, replace this Mrs. with Miss. So, guys, thank you for listening to this tutorial. Watch out for page or chapter five rather.